Hi everyone, my name is Mikey. Nice to meet you. Welcome to my channel. We are going to be making a video on my SX70 Sonar One Step. This camera came out in 1983, I believe, 84. If I made the mistake, I'm gonna leave a, a link down below so you can see more information about it. Just cause I'm not really good with history and things and such, blah, blah, blah. Let's get into the video. Anyway, this is Mara 670. I call her Sally. I don't know why. I named her after a professor of mine that I really loved. Um, yeah, this is Sally. She is hot pink. I actually changed the skin myself. She was actually very rotten when I first got her. I purchased her online. I recommend people who are interested in buying the same camera to not buy it completely new because that is very expensive. It's like $400. I recommend you go to eBay, bid a little bit. Don't spend more than like $100. It's a great camera for sure, but it's not worth it to be honest, because these cameras are old, so they can go wrong eventually. And I don't know how long, how much longer Sally is gonna last me. I really don't know. She's definitely like 30 years old, I believe. I really don't know, I'm not good at math. At least 10 years older than me. I was born in 97, so yeah. By then, they had other cameras that did a much better job. But this camera's special because She's the only one left. I had five other cameras. I also had another SX70 cam. I had two SX70 cameras. I had an ivory color, the one that was like plastic, and the other one that was metallic with a uh, brown leather. And those two got stolen, and so did my SX, I mean, not SX, yeah, SX70 One Step, which is the rainbow one, and my 600 One Step, which is the collapsible, like, clam looking one. And then of course, like a Fujifilm camera. Yeah, sadness. Anyway, let's get started with the video. I just want you to see um, how this camera functions. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the film. I'm not gonna shoot anything today. I will in a later video of, I don't know what, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, so you open Sally, the SX-70 like this here. Put your hand on um, this viewfinder part and lift up Oops. all the way. You don't want to be too aggressive with it, like you don't want to yank it off, but that's how you work it. This red button right here is for autofocusing and shooting. You press in slightly to autofocus and then you press in all the way to shoot. This is the viewfinder, you look through here, and then you'll see through this right here. It's an SLR, single lens refractor, or reflector. I don't remember. It's an SLR, so you, whatever you see in the lens, in the viewfinder, you will pr likely print out. It's not like the one step 600 or SX71 step where it has a viewfinder like on the side, so you kind of have to like, move the camera or tilt it a little bit um, but yeah this is pretty cool because it also has that autofocus feature that it uses with this sonar mechanism it uh, emits a sound and the sound bounces off the subject bounces back onto here the camera itself calculates like the distance I don't know how it does that but it does it and it's very accurate, like it's very crisp, like the pictures come out nice. I'm gonna compile a couple pictures that I've taken with this camera. But yeah, you um, can override the autofocus function, so as you can see it's not doing anything. You move the viewfinder, or not the viewfinder, the lens with this part, but if I press this in, it'll go back to like the normal automatic function. This part right here, it's the, um, I don't know what it's called, but it senses light. So it tells it tells the camera if the subject needs to be darkened or lightened. And what it does is, if it's super bright, it speeds the shutter function. So when it shoots a picture, it only shows it for like 
a fraction of a second. And if it is very low light, if it's a low light setting, then it will leave the, um, the shutter open for a longer time. Excuse my nails, they look awful. Anyway, yeah, so that's that. This is the lighten and darken feature. You lighten your photo by moving this white part, you know, all the way to this part, and then the black part if you wanna make it the picture darker. Yeah, you know how it works. And um, generally, it's pretty accurate, but if it's super extreme outside, like super bright, or your subject is a really light person, you want to, you know, you want to darken it a little bit. And if it's super dark outside, or if you have a darker skin tone person, you want to lighten it a little bit because these cameras, they're they're old, so they're not gonna, they're not they're not as good as your iPhone or Android camera. But yeah, this is my camera. This is all I'm gonna show for right now. But in order to close it, you push on this thing right here. Actually, let me show you this part right here. So this is to open it. And there's already foam inside, but it's not gonna expose anything. And that's to close it. And then this is to shut it. You see this bar right here, you push back and it goes down. And then you press it in all the way. So yeah, that's my SX70. I'm gonna put some pictures of it and uh, possibly do a video later on of me taking pictures so you can see like the different kind of environments that I take my pictures with um, but yeah that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it leave a comment down below leave a like and subscribe for more videos all right peace